what's up guys? So in today's episode on how to go from zero to $100,000 using an AI web agency. So today is episode five and we'll be setting up our first client's websites and a few other things. So, uh, well, we'll be using the onboarding form and using AI for the content and all the copywriting and stuff, setting up a plan, uh, building their sites and payment processes and what to do and how to use them. So first thing, uh, well, in the last video, we made a onboarding form. Uh, it is over here. Let me just make this a bit smaller. There we go. Then we go to sites. Um, just want to quickly just type in, well, just a random, uh, just, well, use the onboarding form and create a random preview. Okay. Uh, let's say for today's video, it is a plumbing business. So let's say the guy's name is Philip Morris. The plumbing name is uh, Absolute Absolute Plumbing or Absolute Plumbing. Phone number, we can just type in just a random phone number. Their business address is, uh, let's go for uh, 9 Main street obviously this is fake london uk and their code is something like that uh, let's say it is let's just use this color uh, blue and then in highlights or well, in brackets we can just add that specific color I think, uh, well, it might be a good idea to change that wording. Do you have a specific uh, color? Uh, well, do you have any specific colors that you want to use for branding? Uh, and you can just type in brackets, add a hex color if you have it. Um, otherwise, just create it for them. Uh, what service do you pro provide? Uh, all in one plumbing solutions. Uh, please state any other information. Uh, we mainly service clients in London uh, and we offer a 100% whatever well satisfaction guarantee something like that and uh, well for this video let's quickly just create a logo do you want to use something that we can actually use on the site? Absolute plumbing. Uh, Otto, because we're just going to use the, well, the logo generator. Uh, I like this one. Just wait for it to load. Again, our name is absolute absolute plum uh, where's absolute plumbing well that's fine um, but I, like, I recommend if you ever make a logo, just use anyone you like and just change it like I just did. We can just add a space maybe there in the middle. But yeah, well, that's that's also fine because it's a different color. And now that specific blue, let's just quickly, let's use that blue. Let's go to the form. Let's just change that. There we go. And uh, our logo that we save. Let's just add our logo there, desktop, there we go, and submit form. Uh, business email address, uh, absoluteplumbing at gmail.com, uh, plus plus one, nine, nine, three, two, seven, there we go, and submit form. Thank you. It is well, it has been submitted. Now, well, once your client has filled in the onboarding form, you can just go here. Well, you can go 
to forms, submissions, or you can go here on the side, uh, submissions. You can also automate this later on. Then you get an email once it is submitted and all those things. But here is our detail so far. Now we can, well, you can export it if you want. We can just copy and paste it here. Let's go over, let's just stick to our, so setting up a plan oh, and using AI for content. So let's just go to ChatGPT. You can also use um, Aerify's AI, but I just prefer using ChatGPT's one for like the basic copywriting. And in time, you can just, well, what I like about ChatGPT is you can just tell them, yeah, um, what, well, if you sign in, uh, we are building a website for a client. Here is information about their business. Please write the copywriting for their website and then we just go back here just copy all that uh, we should well in your onboarding form just change the um well, i'll show you that a bit later but um well just that specific wording like what is it tracked to then you won't have to edit it in AI. well once you start copying and pasting it to ai just do that uh well, we don't have to tell AI that. What service do you provide? And any, well, that's it. also fine. Okay, let's see what they are doing for us. Now here is our whole, well, our copywriting for our website. So now we have the copywriting, you can always change, ask it to uh, improve it, to sum it up, just to add more sections and stuff like that. Um, let's go to, over to our next plan. So setting up a plan and starting their website, you head over to erify.com, just start building. And then you, well, if your client just wants a normal plain website, it's that one. If they want to use uh, automations and stuff and bookings, um, you can use this one, but whichever one you want, well, they want, they can also upgrade later on. So it's their choice, but let's head over. Let's just go, well, I'm not gonna pick a plan for this specific store. Well, this specific website, I'm just going to just create another one from inside from sites. But obviously, you can only create, well, you can only publish one site per account. But um, I'm just going to show you. Well, once you have a new Airify account and all those things, then you just type in your client's details. Then um, you just go to new website like this, templates. And we are doing plumbing. Uh, well, let's go for, well, maybe this one for now. I like how it looks. But like I said, you can only, well, unfortunately, you can only have one website that's published per account, but you can use your your agency's account to, to, well, to basically just practice a bit and stuff. But once you have a client, you unfortunately have to just create a new account for them. Uh, but what, let's just wait for this to finish loading up. And by the way, you can check the stats. Well, if you click there on stats, you can uh, check all the traffic and stuff like that for them as well. But here is our, let's just see how it looks right now. Here is a, well, their website's basically built. Uh, most of the things you won't even have to like, we fix leaks fast. It's pretty great copywriting already. Um, all these things, the site's basically, well, good to go. And let's just click on edit. They have a link in bio, contact us, all these different things. Let's just click on edit. Now we can just use, um, well, let just move that tab over here. And from the start, well, we have, let me just check. Let's start by adding their logo and just doing, well, a few branding changes. Oh, well, I know the logos here. Like I said earlier, you just click, well, there. Go down. All your main settings is always in this navigation menu. Let's quickly just click there on upload our logo. Upload file. And here is absolute, well, this, there's actually a spelling error in plumbing. Uh, there should be a B, but I'm still going to just use it for now. 
I just saw it now. Uh, you can also change the, the like the, the size of the logo over here. I'm not sure if it is selected. Let's just open it up again. Um, but you can yeah you can change all the things there. There we go. Um, let's just make it a bit wider and just check the mobile view. That's a bit too big. There. Um, Heights, the heights is fine. Uh, let's go back here. Well, the heights is fine. We can most, I'll recommend that you actually just make it a, um, well, remove the background. You can go remove, remove dot BG. Or you can use Canva if you have the premium Canva version, but this one is 100% free. So you can just do this. And now you can download it and it is without a background logo. Well, the background color. So let's just go back here, upload it again. You can also use AI to create cool photos and stuff, but obviously, well, for the logo, just made logo, logo for yourself. And then you can, um, I think it's in download. And uh, just in general, I'll show you a few photos in general. Um, Let's just quickly click there on it. Uh, let's say you want to change these photos. Well, this one is very nice, but all these photos are most of the time really, really nice. But if a client has some of their own photos that they want to use, you can well just upload them themselves. But I just want to show you quickly. This actually is a really nice site. Um, uh, well, create using AI, you can use that or just, well, but, but if you go here, oh, um, well, to media, just change there to all. And let's, let me just show you, like all the content here is great. It's high quality plumbing. There's thousands of different photos here. So it's basically, that's why I like using Aerofy. It's an all-in-one tool. You can use all these different photos and just, well, for whatever niche or type of business you want to create while well, bu building a site for. And it's really simple, but like all these are really nice. Um, then, well, obviously, well, just change the, um, just change the service to whatever your client is actually offering. That these guys are high pressure water jetting all these different things reviews um, just change the reviews and all these things your team it's always a good idea to make it a personal well to go a personal approach for while well, building a person well going the personal approach for your uh, clients like an actual photo of the owner a few of their workers and just adding that in there for more trust you can also add uh, credibility stuff I just want to show you let's say we want to add a section here uh, about let's say our licenses or certificates or whatever let's say you're building a site for a doctor or well most of the time uh, even plumbing what well, they will have a few licenses to do that you can just click on plus uh, well this section it just means how wide let's just go for full now then you just click, click on add row uh, if you want to add let's say you want to add five different uh, logos or five different certificates or, or whatever number you can just click on five you can always add more if you want to if you just made a mistake uh, just click on add element and then here it well but just to sum it up for you it's basically uh, well it's first you want to add a section just what, what type of size then inside a section you add well, so it's a section then inside a section, then you add a row, how many type of rows, you can add different things in there, like different text boxes or whatever. I just want to delete this. And then inside a row, well, we have, well, inside a row, you can add different elements. For example, headings, buttons, uh, images, videos, uh, FAQs, countdowns, lot, lots of different things. It's fairly simple. Let's go for image. Now you can just go and add your image let's just use well same way your image and click on upload let's say um, tools well I would go for let's go for all tools and let's see something re related to plumbing or water pipes something along the line but I would, well, there I would add certificates or something like that just to increase trust for your clients. Uh, you don't have to follow that step. I will create a blueprint that you can just basically follow 
uh, in a later video on just a basic design of a website but most of the time your um, let's say to well this pipe well for example this tap but most of the time Aerofy has already built your site basically ready to go you can just add a few small changes like adding a logo uh, just changing the colors let's try and make this section uh, white it's always cleaner and let's just well that's the background color now that wording I'm going to show you navigation navigation bar then here let's just make it black uh, you can well we should definitely change that because right now the spacing isn't really working and just for our icon because on the mobile there is an icon let's just check that out Oh, well, the, ske the, the schedule appointment is actually, well, it is fitted perfectly. It's just when you open the navigation bar, it just moves it over. Uh, but I recommend that we change that color to our blue-ish. Let's just get that color again. Let's make all these buttons. Well, if your color is not there, just click on add a custom one. There we go. Add color. Now it will already be, well, let's just click on that background color. And here is our blue. Just make that, uh, well, make sure all the colors and stuff is fitted uh, while well, it matches. So it will just look a lot more branded. most of the time Aerofy software will already be building basically 90% of the sites you can also just go in here copy a few uh, well reviews and stuff if you have, if the company has zero reviews then you can just ask them please write three reviews there we go uh, make it shorter By the way, I want to just want to give a shout out to Mizi. He has, or well, he sent me a WhatsApp. He has, well, he sold uh, two nice websites. So just shout out to him. And now you can just go and copy and paste it. And well, there is your review. Uh, in some, obviously, make sure it's real reviews. But this is just to get started. Let's just uh, go and finish up all the coloring. Well, that one fits our team. Everyone can't, remember, everyone can't be named John Doe. Uh, just want to show you FAQs. So you can also ask ChatGPT to create FAQs for you. But this is well, um, they already have a few here. I recommend adding a few more. But to do it, you can just go, uh, well, just go in in one of these. And now we have already added more. You can. Um, there we go. Well, that was just a duplication. Um, let me just show you. Uh, if you click on it and you just click on the plus, then you can add more um, more FAQs. To edit it, you can, well, you can type here. Or let's just go number four. Uh, you can type there and there you can just well you can add a photo if you want to you can also just delete that but that's for reviews then um i recommend that you get, well just use all that information let's quickly get all the information uh address is that street There we go. That looks nice. We can, well, whatever the hours are, that's maybe also a good question to add. We can just say uh, five, eight to five or whatever on week days. Oh, that's already, 
well, they have that there. We can I would just delete that whole column. Uh, email. Let's say support at absolute plumbing dot com. And you can just well do that, add those there in as well. If they have social media channels, most likely they'll have a Facebook. Uh, you can connect it. Let me just click on it quickly. Uh, on that specific button, well, I can see it's a button, then you just go to go to page and well, I would most likely just copy and paste that specific link, well, no, uh, open website URL, and then you just paste in that Facebook link, then it will go there. Same with, well, if they have Twitter, Instagram, most likely won't have a YouTube, but same situation. And here you can actually type in their exact, uh, well, search for their exact location. Well, 9 Main Street, London, I didn't really think it exists. Um, yeah, well, it doesn't exist, unfortunately. Uh, but I recommend that you guys go and play around on, um, well, this specific website. Let's just see how it looks on mobile so far. Very clean. Uh, you can remember, you can also change uh, that text. I would recommend making it white. Uh, but, I, but you can also make, I'm just going to show you. Like on right now, it looks really nice on uh, PC. But you can also make changes. Let's say you're going to click on this photo. Then you can, well, if I go to advanced. You can make sure it only shows on PC, for example. And yeah, you can just change all those things. So it's fairly simple. And yeah, you can add a, let's go back. I just, I personally like editing more in, um, in the PC version than later on optimizing for uh, mobile. Let's just add a section there. Let's make it medium and then row. One column because you want to have a header in the headline. We are proudly associated with the following. Then you can add certificates or licenses or whatever. What? Yeah, just like a section. You can also change the. Well, as you can see, there's quite a big space. You just click on it as well. Then you go to well margin and padding. Let's make it zero. I just want to show you. Makes it smaller. Because the, ma the main things you should, guys should just figure out is, um, well, margin and padding. That's just the sizing up and down. And uh, just adding sections and rows. But that, you just click on the plus, And then just section, what size you want. And then, well, how many, what, what do you, how many things do you want to add in that specific uh, section. And then just click on row. And then let's say you want to add one thing like a paragraph, a video, uh, whatever you want to do, then you just click on video. And now you can basically just go and well, just uh, well, there you can just go and paste the YouTube URL, you can use a different few things here, custom uh, embedded videos, but most of the time it will just be a YouTube video. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video. I try to make the videos as short. Oh, uh, payment processes. So uh, depending on what type of business uh, you are targeting, most of the time it will just be service-based businesses like this one. They just want to basically have a, it's, the main thing is schedule appointments, uh, get a quote, something like contact us. That's the main thing. Uh, but let's say you want to, uh, well, get a payment. Uh, all, well, most first world countries, they have access to Stripe and PayPal. You can, you can go to, um, let me just save. I want to really be using the site. But I recommend you guys just go and play around on this uh, website builder for a bit just to figure it out. If you spend an hour or two just building up some websites, uh, even for a client already, uh, then you will be able to basically understand this very quickly. I will be making a lot more videos over the next few days about this and most likely well, we'll be covering as much as possible. And for, well, just one, if let's say you want to sell something while well, your client wants to like have a price there then you can connect uh, Stripe and PayPal. Well, this is an American business. There's a few other payment processes as well, but you can connect those payment processes on this. Um, if you go back here, then settings, uh, I think it's called, well, just payments. Then, uh, well, on the menu, just payments. 
Uh, but you can also just, if you click here, let's say this is a buy now, then you can website URL. If you go to a payment processor, just log in, uh, let's say like Paystack, for example, then in Paystack, then you can create a product or a subscription, anything like that, like inside of well, all, all payment processes has this. You can create a product from inside uh, pay, well, the payment processes website. And then once it is finished, it is you will literally just add a price. Then you can just copy and paste that link of the the product or service or subscription of of the payment processor in here. And then if they click on it, boom, it will automatically open up. So it's a very fast checkout process as well. And um, yeah, you can use that for payment processing. But most of the businesses would just be a con schedule an appointment, something like that. And then yeah, well, in the next video, I'll be going over well. Again, you can just well, uh, well, you can create a, a form for them, and where all these buttons because right now uh, get a free quote, or they will be going to a form or something like that. But I'll be going in a next video over that. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope this video helped. Please let me know in the comments if you have any more questions, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.